Last Friday, the World View Wednesday crew and friends went to Washington, D.C. for the annual March for Life. Here, we marched among thousands of participants for the rights of the unborn. We interviewed some attendees to see why they were pro-life, and even got to interview a few who are pro-choice and protesting the event. Check out their responses. So, why are you pro-life? I'm pro-life because each child that is conceived, God has a full purpose and a reason for that child to be born and to live. Um, so, one of the questions that we're asking today is, why are you pro-life? For the unborn. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, because they don't have a voice, um, and I think everyone deserves to have a voice, um, and so I'm here to march for them. Okay. As a male, why do you think that you have a right in this issue? I mean, it affects everyone. Um, it's a it's a global issue, um, and so I I think it's just my as just as much right my right as everyone else's. It's a human being, um, and so like anything that involves like hurting any human um, just like shouldn't be legal um, and just yeah it's it's a child I couldn't like imagine just like a like a toddler like they're just no longer um, on this earth and just like it's just so sad to think about um, so I definitely think just like just like recognizing that it's it's a human being you're out at the March for Life in Washington DC asking people why are they pro-life so why are you pro-life I'm pro-life because it's a calling. Uh, I believe in, I believe in uh, the innocent, uh, advocating for innocent, developing human beings. So I ran for United States Congress in Illinois Congressional District Three, as a as a Christian constitutional conservative. So I want to get that message out there, and I want I want uh, the people to realize that it's a human rights issue. Okay. It's a human rights issue that everyone has the right to life. I believe life does begin at conception. And, uh, and I believe they have a, they have the right to life just as much as you and I, and so and, uh, and they can't talk for themselves. So we're here to talk for them. Yeah. It's, it's simply said that that every human being has the to right life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, again, I think uh, being a human rights issue, I think all uh, we need to advocate for all human all human beings, and so from birth to, con to from conception all the way to when God takes us. Because uh, she's still in the human body, it's just, it's still a life, and it mm -hmm. should, you know, and even when you get older, you need help. This one needs help too, so it's wherever you are in your stages of life, it's, it's a life. Yeah. Woman has a, has, has a, has an obligation, has an obligation, uh, it's their body, and they shouldn't try to destroy anything that's, that's, that's from, comes from God within, within their body. Okay, what's your name? Uh, I'm Cassidy. Okay, Cassidy, why are you pro-choice? Um, I'm pro-choice, um, first and foremost, um, my little sister, she's in a situation where if she were to become pregnant, she has multiple um, health situations, um, which keep her from being able to use contraceptive. Um, so her choices are pretty much to never have sex or um, possibly die from the pregnancy. But for me, it comes down to the fact that I don't believe that my personal choice should be in, put on every other woman. I mean, I respect your right not to have, or your choice not to have an abortion. I would not personally have an abortion because I'm a um, well-educated female who has a decent income and could have a healthy pregnancy and uh, raise a child. But I'm not every woman. I volunteer at Planned Parenthood clinics where I see, um, I volunteer escort women in who 90% of the time are just getting, uh, you know, gynecological exams or going in for birth control. And there are giant men with assault rifles outside because they're allowed to. And right now that's the right. But I think that all of that is very um, intimidating and wrong. And uh, when it comes down to it, uh, I don't think that those people's opinions should be pushed on everyone else. I think there are situations like rape and incest where I don't believe a woman should be put through, forced to go through a nine month pregnancy. Adoption is also traumatic for the mother. So if you were raped and you have a raped child, I mean, your options are to raise that and figure out how to deal with your life from there or to deal with you know, having a child out in the world that you don't know about. And I don't think that making abortion illegal is going to stop it from happening. I mean, most of the time, 
I know a couple of women who, I mean, you can get on blogs now where you can go get an abortion and women are still online. You know, if I take this and this, do you think that, you know, the baby will, I, I, so I've said this so many times today now, I'm like, I, I'm getting distracted, but um, in summation, medical reasons are, are real, uh, despite what a lot of people would like to throw up statistically. Um, and the fact that I believe that uh, adult woman um, is right to choose is, uh, I mean, it sounds harsh, but it's more important than I think a, a group of cells. And I don't believe that a fetus is a, I don't believe in a soul or anything. So, I mean, I think people are, are working organs. That's what we are. I think my brain synapses firing make me a person. And your brain synapses aren't firing at that level until, you know, a certain um, stage in your pregnancy. It's not like I'm for third term abortions or I'm not pro abortion, I'm pro choice. And I think that that's a really important distinction to make out here. I don't think that there are many pro choicers who are pro abortion. I think they're pro a woman's choice to choose. And there are so many situations. I don't think that any of these people out here can say that they know what goes on in anyone's head when they have to make that choice. All right, Hive Link, thank you so much for talking to us. Just two questions. The first one, why are you pro-choice? I consider myself pro-choice because I believe that the only person capable to make a healthcare decision about a woman's body is in fact the woman. I don't believe that uh, the government or any politician or any religious institution should have a say over what a woman does with her body because she is the only one who is, has autonomy over her body. Outlawing abortion or restricting abortion access in no way uh, reduces uh, the amount of abortions uh, done in the United States. The only thing it really does is increase the amount of non-safe abortions and it actually jeopardizes the life of the woman and makes women as a whole a less safe uh, gender. So I think that um, it's a very hard decision for a woman to make. That's why uh, I don't think anybody is pro-abortion, but we are pro-choice in the sense of where if a woman needs to make that decision, if there is no option, we need to make that decision as safe and as healthy and as non-consequential as humanly possible. If we were to outlaw abortion or to restrict abortion access, that very hard decision would be less safe, um, a lot less healthy and much more dangerous. Why are you pro-life? Because um, at some, some point in my life I had an abortion. Mm. So that's why I'm here to defend the life. Mm -hmm. That one day I say no. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah. the main thing, no? and because I'm representing my parish too, and because I think we have to talk because they can talk when they are in the womb of the womb, women, yes? Mm -hmm. That's the main reason. Yeah. It's because life is it's a gift. It's a gift that comes from God, mm -hmm. but definitely when you don't know God, mm -hmm. you said no. Mm -hmm. You think maybe it's your option to say yes, or no to have the, the baby, the life in you. So, because if you know God, you know that life deserves to live too, like you are living. Mm -hmm. So why are you here today? Um, I believe as a Catholic and just as a human in general that um, all babies have a right to life. All people need to have the right to be born. And I think that's something that's really important and a problem in our country and it's really important that we stand up for it. Mm -hmm. For what I think personally, when people um, who are pro-choice have to say really anything in regards to abortion, like they could have been in a situation where, or their mom, where they might have their mom might have had to have an abortion and their opinion would be invalid. So I just think that we're fighting for life here, so all people who have a life should fight for life. And I think it's just important because it is murder. Why are you pro-life? I'm pro-life because of the individuals. If like we look around us, every single person's unique and by taking a life when it's that person's unique still and no one's like that person, so that person should get a chance to live just like we got a chance. So. Okay. I think what's first, you have to define the fetus as a person. If you don't define it as a person, then you can't kill it. So what is a person? We have to define that as a country. And I think, the, I think a fetus is a person. Mm -hmm. 
And that's a huge building block in taking down Roe v. Wade for me personally.